I would like to welcome you to our second official stream of our upcoming game Chinese Frontiers. I am very happy that you are joining us here today and uh, we would like to show you the official demo that is now available on Steam. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so maybe before I start to play the game, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Bartek. I'm one of the lead designers of uh, our studio Solid Games. With me, we have Marcin. He's one of the lead programmers. Uh, and yeah, so if, Hello you, there. so if you have any questions, uh, we will be happy to answer them during the stream. Okay, so as you can see, we st our starting location is this bridge overlooking the landscapes. We are located in the mountains. Uh, we have this beautiful waterfall over here. And as we can see in the distance, we see the Great Wall of China that we will be building during this demo. So let's start walking toward our, our destination. Okay, so this is a tutorial poll. There will be many of them placed on this map during this demo. So you just have to walk up to it, click E, and it, it basically explains our mechanics, uh, that hood and uh, basic mechanics of the game. So as you can see at the top of the screen, we have a compass with the icon that shows our uh, quest that is uh, active right now. Character stats, life, stamina, hunger and first, quests and items. Go, uh, ranging from 1 to 5 so you have to press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and it basically changes the item in your hand okay and also we have a couple of different menus we have inventory you have to press E to open the inventory skill tree with key and journal with J so we'll be using all of these all of these elements uh, during today's stream so yeah we our so we start in this forest and as you can see at the top of the screen we have 40 steps to our first first quest learn how to interact with items so we come over here and have another tutorial poll that explains how to interact with items and also how to highlight the items with left control so we need to collect a hatchet shovel mallet and the bucket this is the items that will be necessary to continue the game and that going to be used uh, during the gameplay. So we have our hatchet over here. Let's press, press control. We see other elements. We have a empty bucket, empty wine skin, mallet and shovel. Okay, so character stats shows you that the game also has survival elements and the wine skin is helping with one of these elements particularly first you can go into the water press left click left mouse button and now we have three uh, times that we can drink from this empty now full uh, wine skin so yeah now we have to cut some trees because we are going to create some mortar and we need the mortar to operate the uh, furnace over here so yeah let's cut down some trees Okay, we have to hit it a few times so it's disconnected into these different parts that we can now con uh, take and it is located in our inventory as wood. We have 18 wood right now. Yeah, so let's cut one, one more. Okay, and we finished our second quest. Okay, and now we have to learn about crafting. There are different types of crafting in the game. Uh, we were really focused to make the game as complicated and as interesting for you as we can. So you, as you will see during this demo, 
there will be different types of crafting. So, okay, now we have to create a new element from limestone that we will use uh, to create the mortar and also we will use the shovel to collect uh, some sand. Yeah, so first of all, let's get a bucket and we can fill it over here with water. And his, here is our mixing bowl that as you can see over here, we also added this visual as elements that if you don't like to read the tutorials, you can just come over here and as you can see, we collect the limestone, put it in the furnace, then we get this uh, limestone in the uh, form that we can collect with the shovel and then we have to mix the ingredients, sand, one of the one of the burnt limestone and one of bucket of water and fill the mixing bowl so yeah let's go now we get our trusty shovel and we go to this sand pile over here okay and one more Okay, and now we will use our furnace for the first time. So as you can see, I press left control and now my uh, uh, objects in the game are highlighted and I will collect some limestone that we'll, we'll use in just a second. And also we can collect some stone over here that we will use probably later. Okay, I think this is enough. So let's go to the furnace and when we press E, the first crafting menu is open. The loot part is the furnace part. So we just click with clicking the left control and dragging the mouse. We can put just one element because we don't want to put 41 of wood in the furnace. We want to just burn one and we have to turn on the furnace. And in a second, we have our first element that we crafted ourselves. So, okay, now we fill it over here. And as we can see, we have all of the ingredients so we can mix it up. Okay, and, and as you can see on the right side of the screen, we have 200 of mortar that we use during the building part of the game. Okay, so maybe just do it one more time because we'll probably need a lot of mortar to create this beacon tower of Great Wall of China. It's not a small feat, so let's get as much material as we can before. If you have any question, you can just write, uh, write down in the chat and we will be happy to answer them. So yeah, we're we're checking checking all of the chats right now my friend over here so yeah one more okay let's burn it up one more time and mix it up again Okay, I think 400 mortar will be just enough. So let's go up the hill. As you, here we have our camp, and also in the game we added uh, cooking and uh, general uh, uh, different types of food that you can you can cook in the kitchen. Uh, right now you can collect mushrooms all over this uh, this level. So let's get some mushrooms and maybe we'll cook something in a second. Okay, so let's get to the camp. For now, the camp is just basically a place where we can cook and travel to our village, but uh, in the early access coming next year, it will be basically our starting point for every uh, w construction jobs that we will, do, do, we will get in the game. So you will meet NPCs here, you will have your materials, and different types of things. So, okay, 
this is another tutorial poll that, that explains to us how to how to cook and how to craft okay i think we will leave the cooking part maybe for later and as you can see here we have this viewing points where you can see the level design so we are in this high high mountains with very steep very difficult terrain and you can see the great wall of china going over here 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 and this is the construction part where we will be going next so our next quest is learn how to use the building plans and find the construction plot so let's do just that we have 100 steps to go so let's go up the hill on the left we have another viewing point where we can see the ferns that we were using just a second ago and the bridge where we started so yeah i hope you i hope you like the view okay so here we are this is the main part uh, we will this is the main location of the demo where we will be building the beacon tower it just uh, the uh, building is in its very early stage and here we can see how it will look when we finish it ourselves so let's go over here and collect the building plans the building plans are basically and oh we leveled up so let's maybe spend some skill points we have brick layer allows you to carry one more brick fast like win you can now sprint much faster eagle eye you will be able to highlight objects for a longer time and fast blinker you will be able to highlight objects more often I played the game before so I know the brick layer will be very useful right now so let's spend all of our points on that so we will be basically able to carry more bricks doing, uh, during our work okay and as I was uh, trying to show you before we can switch elements in our hotbar and then it also shows on the bottom right of our screen so what does building plan do building plan is basically our tool that allows us to place different objects in the game that are we can place them wherever we, we want basically this is this is the part when our creativity comes uh, to play and we need we also we can see over here that we need five bamboo to place our first scaffolding scaffolding will be really important to get up high and build the build the higher elements of the tower so let's cut some bamboo i really like the part when it just falls down it was really important to us uh, during create creating of the demo that the wor world feels very realistic so I hope you like the realistic, uh, semi-realistic falling of the bamboo. Okay. I think we collect all, th all that because we will we'll be needing to place a lot of scaffolding later. So, okay. I choose the scaffolding with Waddler because I want to easily get up higher. Let's place it so you can see we placed it over here. Okay, as maybe explaining some of the mechanics when you uh, use your scroll on your mouse, you rotate the scaffolding. You can also use shift with scroll to get it higher or lower. But to make it easier, if you look at your previously built scaffolding, you can just use your scroll to attach it to the, to the existing one and it's easier to build it. So yeah, okay, so now our new quest is build the first level of a tower so yeah let's let's get to the most interesting point of, part of the game uh, for me i love i love the building part so we have to learn how to build and uh, learn how to work with material stacks so let's go over here as you can see there will be this blue ghost that we have to fill with our materials to to create the tower and also how the material st uh, stacks of materials work uh, it's basically just a kind of uh, 
an element that lets us, lets us take bricks, stones, wood with us wherever we want to. So we have to hold E and now we can walk around with it and pressing the right mouse button we leave it wherever we want to. So it's a, a real, realistic living element in the world that if we leave it over here it stays over here for for the rest of time basically. Okay, so let's get our stones because I already know that we're going to be using stones but if you don't know that you can always hover over the go blue ghost and you see required items, stone blocks and mortar so it's good we created the mortar before because it's the place where we're gonna need it. Okay, so if you press E you collect one, st one stone and now you can place it over here. So yeah, it's our first element of the tower. So let's get to work basically. Okay, now I use the scaffolding to get up higher. I can jump on, jump on this part and yes. Okay, we have the third, first layer. So I will probably build another scaffolding over here. I want it like that. And I'm going to maybe a third uh, one more. I don't know if I have enough bamboo. I have enough bamboo. Great. So yeah. And now let's take this stone block and let's go up. Here we have our magnificent view on the Great Wall of China. Beautiful, beautiful construction. It's amazing that it was built in the through like. 1000, 2000 years. Okay. Oh, I almost fell down. You have to really watch out your step, watch on your steps because if you fall down, you can, you can get damaged. It's a little too low right now, but later when we get to the higher parts, you can just basically hurt yourself. So it's, uh, so it's uh, really dangerous to work on this tower. Okay, now we're gonna to need some sand. We have sand over here. Let's use the uh, let's use the tutorial pole because, as other materials, sand also has its basin that you can fill with sand and you can take it up, up, up higher, and you don't have to run around over here. We can fill it two times. Maybe tell us if you would like something bigger, so you can just basically fill it with as much sand as you want and maybe never come back over here. Depends. What if you like realism more or it just you prefer the fast gameplay? Okay, so we filled up it up over here and now maybe I will show you another mechanic if any element is standing in our uh, Building building area we can't build so we have to move it around and also we can just drop our uh, uh, stone that we took from the uh, stone stack and it also stays in the world it just stays over here so maybe yeah let's do some do some damage and it's probably not a good idea because i will have to pick it up later and to build another part so <laughs> maybe let's use it after all okay let's go maybe a little bit faster we take passing with us over here and yes the corner left okay so Maybe I will show you another element that we can build with a building plan. We can place a stool whenever, wherever we want and now we can easily get up over here. Oh! Because you can't jump with the material stack because it's really heavy. Okay. And sand passing as well. Maybe I will just leave it here so it doesn't get in my way and let's uh, i also have my stool so let's leave it here and we can use our hammer to basically just open the hammer menu and destruct this element you can also uh, destroy this element we can also destroy it with the our bare hands with our uh, axe but i i prefer the faster faster way okay let's get the pass in let's get over here shovel oh it worked <laughs> it worked uh, okay still stone blocks but i think the next layer will be bricks so we will show you uh, the 
why we bought the bricklayer skill because stone is a heavy element so we decided to that you can just pick one at a time but with bricks you know they are a little bit lighter so so the bricklayer skill will make our work much much faster so yeah let's take it over here oh i can't place it here okay I'm gonna use it later, I'm not gonna to drop it, Maritim. Okay. So I have to take the sand basin down and fill it up with sand again. Oh, I fell in between the scaffolding and our tower, no problem. Oops. Yeah, so I have to... Oh, it's over here. So as you can see, it's a real element that you can kick and it just goes down the mountain. So you have to be really, really uh, ca uh, cautious because you can lose your elements. Not really because you have our trusty friend June over here that will spawn you materials. In our demo, the materials are waiting for you here. But in early access, uh, we are planning that you will have to create all of that. So the building will be a very, very satisfying last step of the process. And uh, you will see where you will build this uh, and create this uh, uh, materials in short amount of time. I don't want to spoil it right now, but the demo has different locations. I will say just that. Since we are talking about the access, you know, if, if, if you like what you see, you can uh, add uh, the game to your wishlist. Yeah? yeah, for sure. If you're if you are liking this, it will help us help us a lot. Yeah, and also you can uh, if you have any comments or you like the game or dislike the game and you want to to add your add your grain uh, grain of. Uh, just add your opinion you can also join our discord so as you can see the bricklayer allows the bricklayer skill allows us to carry five bricks at the time so now we can just basically go a lot a lot quicker and you know it's it's an open open invitation to maybe some speed running whatever you like if someone would like to check out how fast because now i'm basically going at a very or maybe not very at the normal speed so you can see everything clearly but i'm sure that some of you would probably be able to go really really fast and be probably done with it by now so okay i don't want to drop these bricks over here because then i will have to collect them later so let's drop them down there let's get our bus in here and let's get our bricks here done and the last part of the first level of a beacon tower or maybe i'll have to fill it with sand one more time i don't remember okay so as you can see we completed our next quest we got some xp we're not at, le at level three right now but we'll probably quickly get there and now we get to the another location. We have to go to the fast travel point that I mentioned before in the camp. And we will go to our village where we will build our first uh, building. Uh, in the demo you build just one. So you know it's kind of a taste of what's to come. Because in the area access the village will be a very very important part. Where it's basically just like your heart of operation where you can craft, dif uh, craft dif uh, build different buildings, craft different technologies, inventions, you know, so you get more, uh, more complicated jobs after. So let's go to the village. Okay, so now it's a totally different location. It was very important to us that the that you feel the distance that you uh, that you go through that it's not like basically only mountains or only forests so before we were at the top of the mountain over there now we are 
in near the river that you will see in just a second we have this waterfall over here and we go through the main gate and we enter our village with our villagers so as you can see the the mountains are basically uh, protecting our village from from danger so it's a calm place that that you know has totally different feeling that uh, that the diff that the other level has so okay we we'll, we are pretty hungry and we're pretty thirsty maybe let's drink some water that we collected before and we will cook our first dish so uh, to cook our first dish we need some ingredients we have pepper carrot eggplant fish and rice so let's collect all that just as with materials at the at the mountains uh, you will be able to grow all of these elements in early access so you know now it's just a showcase of of the crafting and uh, and for sure in the early access you will have not only uh, the satisfaction of building the great of wall, Ch wall of china but also living the simple life of the villager that will get progressively more and more advanced uh, oh and we also level up great so now we can get our my favorite my favorite skill fast like a wind so i can just basically sprint around everywhere okay maybe we will collect one more rice for later so yeah th here you have this rice fields very very uh kind of element that is uh, important in asian culture and uh, so you know it was very important to us also to add it as well but uh, yeah for now we just collect rice over here but uh, let's get some fish we can see some destroyed buildings we can get to them right now because the river is blocking us it's also maybe uh, our little wink wink to you what's to come that you can probably get to all of these different places on this level so you can your village will not be just five buildings but maybe a beautiful beautiful city okay so we have some villages over here maybe get closer okay oh, i would i would really like to go there but we oh i'm also i'm almost dying of hunger so that we can maybe go and cra craft some yeah i took the fish okay i took a second one yeah so let's let's cook some uh, fish dish so we don't die of uh, uh, die of starvation okay we have our trusty kitchen over here we have uh, another uh, tutorial poll the same that we had in our camp that explains how to how to use this crafting station maybe i will just show show it to you uh, but uh, maybe a small small thing if you don't really like to uh, read a lot of text the yellow part is just basically you know a lot of information all of the information but the most you, you have to all only read the the white part so you get the gist of what you have to do okay so let's use the kitchen okay so this is our second crafting menu so as you can see on the left we have now we have just fish this and mushroom soup in the early access and in the full game of course there will be many possibilities uh, with uh, different types of foods on different types of levels because you can collect different types of plants different types of different different types of ingredients so if something is uh, highlighted in yellow that means we have all of the ingredients and when it's gray it means as you can see i don't have a bucket of, of water with me i only have my empty bucket so i can't do mushroom soup but we collected mush collected it collected mushrooms before so you know if we get hungry on the wall we also always can just craft mushroom soup so let's go to crafting and let's cook the fish dish because my guy is getting very hungry right now okay so now you just have to move uh, the dish to your hotbar you press 4 in my ca in my case 4 you can place it whenever wherever you want and with the left mouse button you can eat i really like the animation and you you can see on the left side of the screen we have 10 seconds of uh, 10 seconds of filling our our hunger meter so 
Okay, now we will build the, our first building in a village. Uh, so it's a carpenter's workshop because we need a crane to transport the materials to the second part of the beacon tower. Okay, so we get our carpenter's workshop and similarly to the scaffolding, you can basically place it whenever, wherever you want if it's not obstructed by different elements of the world. And you can rotate it with the scroll and get it lower or higher with shift and scroll. I really like this placement, so I'll place it over here. And yeah, basically we have our framework for cons constructing carpenter's workshop. Similar to the tower, when you go up over here, you see we need wood and differently to the tower, we use mallet because it's uh, this is this are planks. Th there, there we use heavy materials. Here it's pre it's a little a little bit easier, simpler construction. So just hitting with with a mallet because I have 27 wood in my inventory. I can build the the elements of the carpenter's workshops until I run out of my my materials. So yeah, let's go. So uh, we were really focused to make the gameplay. Uh, we wanted different different types of game plans in different parts of the world. So you know, uh, at the tower it's quite slow. Uh, it's uh, it's heavy materials. Here we wanted faster pace. Also, you know, crafting elements. It's it's uh, we want to get uh, as in, get, get get gameplay as interesting as we can. So yeah. Also, if I use my shovel, I can dig up these stumps. And I get additional wood, so yeah. Yeah, sure. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm also wondering which location do you prefer? Do you prefer the high mountains when it's a little bit more dangerous, or do you like the uh, the soothing atmosphere of our, of the village? Okay, maybe one more because we will need some wood for our crane that we'll craft in just a second. Yeah, remember left control is highlighting. You can for sure, if you find the gameplay interesting, you can for sure check it out. The demo is free on Steam right now. And also you can add it to wishlist so you don't miss out on the, on the early access that will start probably. Uh, at the beginning of the next year because we're working on it right now and if you just as I said before if you would like to see something in the early access that you're not seeing ov uh, over here right now you can leave a comment and we'll for sure read it and think about adding it okay so this is our finished carpet and workshop now it's the part of our village it's right next to this ro road so you know it fits fits to the, to the rest of the village I hope and we have, have our chest over here and we have crane counterweight and rope. Right now similar to the stacks of materials we just get it from the chest but of course in the early access this will be the elements that you will also be crafting in different types of buildings. So yeah this is our carpenter's table so let's open it and here we can see we have crane base, crane arms, crane wheel and crane platform. So because you know we have to get up high, it will be difficult to construct crane here. So we have to create a crane kit so we can easily transport it up the up the mountain. So yeah, let's start crafting it. Tell us what you think about the animation. Would you like different animations with uh, different elements? Feel, feel free to, to add your comment. Okay, and crane platform. So, now I have all of the elements in my inventory and I can, because I have all the elements, the crane kit highlighted and now also you can see which parts do you need here. We can just craft it, so let's craft it. Maybe just as a fun, fun addition, I will craft one crane base because I really like the uh, the model. So 
you can drop every elements from your inventory by just pressing the left mouse button and putting it near to, to the edge of the screen and it's, as you can see oh i dropped the crane kit i don't want to drop that i want to drop the crane base so you can see this packaged elements are in my in my inventory and we will use it in in just a second so yeah we're leaving the village i'm not happy about it i really like this place but yeah let's maybe let's prepare some food for yeah yeah for sure i will i will prepare a uh, mushroom soup because i will be probably hungry hungry later maybe i will drink yeah when you drink uh, the when you use your uh, wine skin it disappears i don't know if it's good maybe we should change it but uh, it's a good uh, place to show you the crafting from the character uh, you can you have this basic crafting the elements that you use very often in the game we have free bamboo so we can create new empty wine skin and it shows here and uh, here how much time it takes so we get one more and now we can fill it up again okay and let's fill the bucket because we need the bucket to make the soup if you take paprika and stuff you can make another fish yeah because fish and rice are yeah uh, but I want to show them the different type of different type of uh, uh, of food. So maybe I will just make the mushroom soup. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Also, uh, in the uh, when we're talking about the village, we see a lot of NPCs here. For now, they just uh, basically are an element that makes the village feel more real, feel more vibrant. But we are hoping that in the early access, we'll be able to interact with them. Now you can just interact with June uh, at our construction site, and maybe you can also work with them during the, the during the construction part. Uh, Tell us if it's a really important thing to you, if you would like to see that in the early access. So yeah, let's travel to the construction site. Okay, so we come back over here. We have our tower and now we will construct the crane. I hope I didn't leave it in the village. No, I still have, my, have it in my inventory. So let's go up the ladder. Oh, and I leveled up. So let's let's use another skill. Maybe I like to highlight objects for a longer time. So I will buy eagle eye. Uh, so here we have this uh, view from the top. Also, we have our trusty villagers of uh, workers over here working on the other parts of the wall because you know it wasn't an easy process for just one person so it, we have to work together and now we have all of our uh, crafted uh, crafted uh, elements of the crane laying over here in these packages and we will construct the crane so crane base I have to move out of the way crane counterweight crane arms crane wheel and crane platform okay so we have this uh, I hope nice looking crane built uh, I'm I'm really happy that we that we got to this part so okay I need some sand so I'm going to take my bus in because I don't have any sand right now and I will use the crane for the first time So you have this animation when the, uh, the every element of the crane moves as it would in normal or in real life because as I said before it's really important to us to oh I dropped the crane I'm sorry let's do it one more time okay and now let's put the bus in on the crane and I will just drop it and try to get the sand as fast as possible okay one and I think we will need it just one more time so I won't bother bother with going there over going over there again 
and tell us do you like that the uh, crane only gets to transport one stack at a time because we thought about the uh, realism that it's really heavy materials and maybe uh, maybe one at the time is you know just feels more real or would you prefer that it's just a huge crane for with like five six slots for for uh, materials uh, material stacks let us know okay oh this is my fault I'm making a mess and now I have to collect these bricks because we wouldn't like to leave uh, these elements in inside of the tower it wouldn't be a good good uh, good job then okay so now we have uh, f our first floor and we need stone blocks for that so let's let's get them with our crane I'm not okay I'm checking if I'm not uh, hungry right now I'm okay for now yeah okay yeah I, I haven't told you you just come up to the to come up to the crane platform and you have to press E and then it just basically uh, snaps to snaps to the crane platform so it doesn't fall off during the during the <laughs> picking it up part. Okay. So yeah, now we have this place where we can leave our materials, so it won't be such a mess. I hope, and we get back to work on our tower. You may ask why the, the bottom part of the tower is filled with sand. It's basically so the uh, so the construction is more sturdy because you know the bottom part was uh, attacked more often than the top part. So when it's filled with sand, it's basically very very hard to destroy it. And the people at the top uh, shooting our arrows or you know just uh, sending signals are safe from attacks. So yeah, what we're gonna need now, red brick, we can remember that you can always check at the bottom, you have the graphic over there, but I played this game so much during the, <laughs> the creative process that I remember all the elements. Okay, now I think we'll be a little bit faster. Okay, so now with the windows. All of the all of the warriors could shoot our arrows at the incoming foe. Okay, and now the, now the arches. I really like how it's starting to come come together with this shining light over here on the floor. Okay, we have to get more bricks, so let's use our crane. And get some more red bricks, because we have also yellow, br yellow bricks that we will use uh, in the interior, because exterior and interior were uh, built with different, different type of material. We can also see our camp over here and the the landscape okay, okay we're almost finishing this second second part of the tower you have to watch out because you can fall here maybe we'll drop something later
Okay, n- m- okay, and yeah, now there's uh, as as uh, uh, it just an import additional um, important element that you can really play this game different way that you can see you can place the tools be very precise be uh, you know just uh, focus on your work and uh, use it as a kind of calming a calming experience and you can also i will leave uh, leave this wall without the tools so we can maybe park her a little bit for those people that just like to get get this job done as quickly as possible I'm I'm the kind of guy that likes to do it quickly, so I'm even jumping on my stools, so I get closer <laughs> to the other part. It's not very safe. Yeah, it's not very safe, maybe, but you know, to everyone it's own. Okay, and the now we really need the stools because it's very high. So, yeah. Okay, we we'll need to get some more bricks and maybe we can see how the tower is looking from the outside. Ah, yeah, I have to remember about the crane. I really like the part that you can just drop it and it falls on its own. You can also, uh, we don't, we're not going to need any scaffoldings anymore, so we can destroy them with our hammer. And our uh, our uh, spawner, our uh, stack of materials just falls down. Okay, it's starting to come together with this beautiful shine over here. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I, f- I forget forget about forget about the bricks, the most important element. Yeah, I just I just uh, you know start to look around and I forget about the forget about, about the building okay I'm get starting to get a little bit hungry maybe I will eat my mushroom soup prepared late uh, before okay and now I should be fine also uh, if you want to check your quest that you completed, you can always go to the journal, the part that I didn't show you before, and you have completed, failed, and active quest. Now, because it's a demo, you only have an active quest, but in the in the area access, we are uh, focusing that you don't only build the because the Great of Wall, Wall, uh, Wall of China is very big, and it, uh, uh, as you all know, probably and it uh, spreads across the vast landscapes so it uses very different materials in different places it looks differently uh, it's, it was created in different uh, eras so in the early access we really like to use this element and it's not going to be only village and the mountains we want to show you different locations where you have different difficulties uh, awaiting you yeah, and yeah, I need stone blocks. Thank you. Uh, you have different difficulties, different type of uh, different type of architecture. Uh, so right now we only have an, one active quest, but in the area access you can go to different different locations, get uh, different quests started, and you know then it will be useful to maybe check your journal journal sometime. And if you forget what you were doing before. The journal that you press J. Yes. If you would like to check it out, you can always play our free demo on Steam. Because it's, uh, you know, very different to watch and very different to play the, uh, yourself. I, I hope you will check it out and pr- maybe like it. I hope so. Yeah, and if you like it, remember. Yeah, remember to add it to to wish list if you if you find it compelling. Okay, so now we, as I said before, we will be building the ex- interior, so we'll use some yellow bricks for that. So let's go to the crane one more time. And now I won't forget about the materials. Maybe if, when it's dropping, I will come over here and check our workers. Yeah, as I said, for now they just are basically a flavor 
they just added here so you it feels more lively but uh, in the area access uh, they will be a bigger part of the game we have some plans. We, yeah we have some plans for that as well uh, yeah so it's not uh, not only focused on the uh, uh, on you know the being a basic worker that just gets gets his uh, gets his plans and he has to do what uh, what he have to he basically do what people tell him to do we want to we want to give you the power to decide what you like wh what you like to focus on first if you if you're the kind of person that really likes to you know focus on your village focus on the elements that you have real uh, real real power over because you can place the buildings wherever you want to you can you know add elements to the village in the area access that maybe you can just you know want to spend as much time over there and then, then maybe later go to go to this construction sites so you can do it so yeah you know it's it, the demo is basically just a taste of what's to come uh, what's to come later and it will be for sure uh, for sure a lot more complex and a mo lot more diverse uh, hopefully yeah for sure but like I promise, we are working hard uh, to to bring it to you. Okay, we're finishing up the interior. So, in a second, if someone remembers from the graph at the bottom, we will be doing the wooden construction in that we will hold our second floor, third floor. Okay. I destroyed my stools before, so now I have to jump on my stacks of materials and go to get one more stack of yellow bricks. Yeah, don't worry if you lose any of them, you can always go to June, maybe I will show it to you right now, because we're getting a little bit low on mater building materials, you can come up to June and he you can basically just click I need some materials and we can just you know get yellow bricks and over here we have a new stack of yellow bricks so don't worry if you drop anything but remember in yeah if we want to we can drop something just for the fun of it yeah every every element has its own collision oh yeah it's still going it's somewhere over there uh, yeah, but right now it's not a big issue. But remember, you will have when you will be crafting these materials. It probably be, will be more important to you to not lose them because it's your hard earn, hard earned work. Okay. If I remember collect correctly, this is our last layer. Okay, and as I said, now we are focusing on the wooden construction inside. So yeah, let's get some wood. And maybe I will drink some water also because I'm getting low on that and let's pick up our last materials that we'll be using locks we used all of it here we have just one uh, stack of red bricks that we'll be using in a second for the third part of the tower I'm making a mess so it's harder and harder to place uh, material stacks over here but you know uh, if you are getting angry at me I'm sorry you if you are if you want to you know get as precise as uh, tidy as you can you can you for sure can try it yourself and and you know make it just as you would want to okay let's place them all I'm. Uh, we're gonna need you need bricks, so I'm not going to clean them right now. What do we need now? Okay, we need some logs. You can take one at the time, but you can also take two if you want to. Uh, 
and now because it's a small detail as in the uh, as in our village we use a hammer I hope we have enough wood probably I have to go down there and cut some more trees but maybe it will be enough because I cut a lot of them in the in our uh, in our village so as you can see the materials travels the your in inventory travels with you so if you collect something on the one level you can later use it on the on the second level so if you want to prepare you can also you can always just you know stack on stack on your materials before going to the construction site okay now some windows so it's as as close to to the real thing as it can be because we did a lot of research did a lot of studying so it's not just you know a very uh, kind of our own imagination and our own uh, vision of the Chinese wall it's the real beacon tower that you can check out and you can you know look at look it up yourself so so maybe you get interested uh, interested after playing the game and you get to learn some uh, something new about the one of the biggest constructions in the world okay so now I have to move it here and use my mallet to get upstairs yes a very freeing experience that you can just you know be in the sky in the in this clouds and look around at everything that you, you started over there in the at the at the bottom and now you're at the top so what do we need I think we need wood yes and yeah as I thought I need to cut some some more trees so let's find some trees it won't be as easy as at the village because it's a very steep steep uh, landscape but as I remember yeah we have one over here but I don't know if it will be enough but we'll see okay so yeah control to highlight it so it's easier to pick up how much do I have 22 I think it will be enough I will take this take this and I hope I don't have to go back down I'm gambling yes and I won thank you so stone blocks I left some over here I don't need the basin so I just can drop it and let's pick up the stone stone stack and get get up top so it's faster okay and we're getting very close to the finish line but I'm getting a little bit hungry so I go to John because I we left some some food for you over there oh, also you can see the level design you have all the plants construction over here and we have some food okay so let's eat it and we can finish the our work with in peace bye june thank you for everything so yeah we we are basically just doing the top part right now and it's going to be our you know finished basically I will collect the the bricks that I left here before there are some yellow ones as well but I'm not going to need them Okay, this is the exciting part. The holes are the uh, drainage for uh, in the event of the of some heavy rain, uh, you know. So the so the uh, warriors don't get basically flooded by the water. Uh, it it just you know fell down the the sides of the sides of the tower. So it's kind of a, you know another another 
interesting element of the design process of our of people living very very different lives than ourselves okay Okay, so I'm pretty excited. It's the it's the final part. As I promised you before, we'll drop drop the spawners down this down this door uh, uh, stacks. Sorry, uh, I use the term spawners a lot because this is our we call them here in our office spawners. So yeah, and. Now it, the element just appeared in front of us, but uh, in the in the finished game you will for sure be creating that. But as you can see, it's made from steel, so it's a you know diff difficult ma material to craft. So it be, will be in the later part of the game, uh, and we need a lock to fill fill the fill this element, the beacon. So as uh, probably all of you. Uh, are thinking about the Great Wall, it was uh, mostly used also not only for uh, defenses but to communicate w the between very vast landscapes so yeah we're gonna gonna start the fire so the other people are informed over there and uh, the elements that we are really proud of that you the, uh, the things that you left lying around on your construction site, you can still see them. So for everyone, it will be a different experience. We have this beautiful cinematic that showcases your, your hard work. And, you know, this is the basically the, f uh, the end of our, uh, our demo. So uh, I'm really happy that you were, guys, you were here with us. And thanks you, thank you very much for watching the Chinese Frontier stream. Uh, I hope uh, and I'm happy if you found it interesting. Uh, please uh, remember that if you found it interesting, you can check the demo uh, for free on Steam and uh, it will be a very big support for us uh, if you add it to our wishes and we promise with all our heart that we do our best to bring the best possible game to you. Uh, yeah, we're working on the full game already, so uh, as I mentioned before, you will probably be able to uh, play our early access uh, in the first part or uh, first part of the next year. So, yeah, maybe we can just walk down to see the effect of our hard work and maybe compare it with, uh, with the drawing that we have over here. So yeah, this was the cross section of the of the uh, beacon tower. This is some of the uh, st uh, stacks of materials that I threw down the down this this door. And yeah, remember when we were starting the stream? It was basically just a couple of rocks and a couple of sand, uh, like a you know a small pile of sand. And now this is just this beautiful beautiful historic architecture uh, built with our own hands. So. Yeah, thanks you guys. Thank you guys very much. Uh, thank you that you were joining us. If you were joining on Facebook, on uh, Twitter, on Steam, on YouTube, we were happy to to spend this time with you. And uh, you know, if you want to spend some more time, join our Discord, uh, play the demo, and uh, um, wait for early access. Uh, add it add to your wish list, and we will see you in the next year. So, thank you very much, and. Uh, 